Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I want to remind you to not fall too deep in. Now, by not falling deep, I mean in any regards of life. See, there are going to be some aspects and perspectives that we hold on to near and dear because essentially uh, we feel as if it's all we know. But it's simply not true. See, when we can ground ourselves in who we truly are, the spirit that we truly are, then we don't get so consumed by ideas, labels, beliefs of others. See, it's okay for all of us to have our own unique perspectives. That's part of the journey. There's no, there's no avoiding that. But this is a reminder to not fall too deep in and lose your bearing of who you truly are. Because there will be times where we learn or we get involved in a career and we begin to see life through the lens of that career or that hobby or that uh, special area of interest. But divinely, we all have a variety of perspectives. Within us, we have perspectives on how men and women should be, uh, how children should be, how culture should be, how society should be. And that's fine. That helps build our creative reality to our own making. It reflects all of our opinions, our views throughout our reality. This is part of the beautiful essence of who we are. The other aspect of that is we also come across others who have their own ideas and beliefs. And in not falling too deep into it, we can respectively honor the perspective of others, give grace for the perspective of others, but also relinquish the feeling that we must judge or be judged. See, when we fall too, too deep into certain ideas or beliefs, we can hold on to blind spots that we don't know are there. We can hold on to judgments that we don't realize are there. I'm not demonizing this at all. We all have this. But this is a reminder that you choose what you believe. You make the choice. So you can always choose to change a belief, to change how much you hold on to a belief or a choice. More importantly, you can always be open to changing that belief, that idea, that perspective. And in doing so, it allows us to grow. Because as we grow, those around us grow just the same, whether we see it or not. So remind yourself to stay grounded to who you truly are, and that is a spiritual being. You are of God. Enjoy your journey. And if you don't know where you are, you feel lost. Pull yourself back to the true essence of who you are, which is spirit. One of God and go from there. Because it's a guarantee that we all get lost along our way. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is simply a reminder that just because you are lost doesn't mean you have to stay lost. Just because you think something is correct doesn't mean you have to hold on to thinking that that's correct. Just because you believe life should be one way doesn't mean it has to stay your only belief. Be open to something new. Be open to the freedom of yourself spiritually and in this world of our making. And more importantly, be open to knowing that just as you have the power, so does everybody else. Enjoy the journey, y'all. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.